Hey everyone, how's it going? John here from Four Brewers. Um, so uh, yesterday I went on a little road trip to some local and then Empire breweries and I filmed some stuff with hopes of making a vlog. Um, vlogs are really hot right now. I like watching vlogs um, and it seems like something that'd be fun to do. Turns out they're really difficult to do. I'm really good with my camera shooting other people, other things. Um, that stuff's really easy, but when I have to talk to the camera in the moment, like a lot of vloggers do, and that's basically what vlogging is, it tends to be a little more difficult. So I did uh, film some stuff, and I figured I'd just walk you through the day and uh, tell you what I did. And I'm here drinking one of my new favorite beers. This is. Uh, Stone's Wussy Pilsner. It's actually, it's technically, it's who you call in Wussy with a, a question mark. <coughs> but I digress. Anyway, we start off by going to a packing house brewing company. I haven't been there in a while. That's where Matt Becker from the show works. Um, it's always fun going there. Uh, they have a nice uh, set of beers that are always on tap. They're staples, pretty much. One of which is a beer called uh, Nighthawk. Uh, that's a beer that. Uh, I have seen change a lot since Matt has gone back to Packing House from the brewery. Um, it's a beer he's been working on pretty hard and I think he finally nailed it because it was tasting great. It's a pale ale made with mosaic hops. And in the past it tended to be a little grassy um, and it wasn't necessarily, as far as I know, Matt's process that made the beer that way. It was the hops and um, he just wasn't getting I guess the right kind of mosaic hops. It was mosaic tends to be a, a really finicky, weird hop. So, uh, but this last batch, he I forgot where Sam. I met up with Sam there also. He's uh, one of the owners of Packing House. Um, he just happened to be there. I didn't meet up with him, but uh, he was saying they got a batch of mosaic from. I want to say it was from No Clue out of Rancho Cucamonga, No Clue Brewing. Uh, but yeah, the beer was great. Uh, I had that, I had the, the Weizenbach. Um, what else did I have? And I think just the IPA and everything was just really solid. So good job, Matt. Um, after that, I met up with John Wrighty at Electric Brewing in uh, Marietta, California. If you haven't heard of Electric Brewing yet, we're probably gonna be doing a show there. Um, but they're an all electric brew house, which is really cool. You don't see that a whole lot. As far as I know, I haven't anyway. And they brew a lot of those new England hazy IPAs. Um, they're not full-blown hazy IPAs as far as I can tell. It looks like to me they're kind of a West Coast hazy IPA thing that they're doing. But they make really good beer. And on top of that, they've got good stouts and stuff like that. And they're doing some, uh, some barrel aging. I don't know of what. Um, but they got some barrels in there too. So uh, they're a fairly new brewery and they're totally worth checking out. Um, and then right down the street from Electric Brewing is Inland Wharf, which uh, I was there last weekend with uh, Greg Nagel. He um, wrote a little article for Orange Coast about his visit there, but um, we met up there. I had to pick some stuff up from Inland Wharf and they do all cask ales um, and by all cask ales, I mean they, their ultimate goal is to be a cask ale brewery, um, but those same beers that they have on cask, I think generally they also have on uh, carbon dioxide, CO2, on tap, so you can have a cask version and you can have um, a CO2 version. And then they have one West Coast IPA, that's not a cask IPA as far as I know, it's just a straight up West Coast IPA, and it's really good. Um, they're brand new, I think, I wanna say they opened in January. Don't know uh, for sure, but again, worth checking out. And they're right down the street from Electric. They're maybe a two minute drive from Electric. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much all we did. Um, didn't go to any other breweries after that. Uh, so um, I hope to do more of these. Uh, it seems kind of awkward right now, but um, when I think more of the guys are involved, like Jason and Matt and Greg. Um, they'll obviously be better because I'm kind of boring to watch on camera. But uh, it's fun going to these places and uh, filming there and um, 
you know, playing with my camera, and that's ultimately what I like to do is I like to record stuff on my camera, I like to take photos, I like to do all that stuff. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I, I'll be doing more here and there, like I said, um, when I'm around Jason and Matt and Greg. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.